I'm Anna Hickey, and welcome to Emerson Exchange on the Technology Exhibit Floor, where we're about to talk about a solution for HMI for SCADA. Joining me is an expert on that topic, Rich Carpenter from Emerson. Welcome, Rich. Thanks, good to be here. So what are we seeing and discussing today? We're gonna to talk about the Movicon product. And what exactly is Movicon? Movicon is industrial automation software. It spans a very broad spectrum from industrial IoT, to local operator interface, to supervisory control, and plant level analytics. Uh, and can you go into how it has such broad use capabilities? Sure, I mean, it's a very modern platform, which just released a few years ago. It uses the latest technologies. We can do everything from 3D graphics to embedded video through what you would normally expect in an automation software product. And now, so how is Movicon different than what's currently being used on the marketplace? Well, I think the capabilities all the way from IoT through plant level analytics in a single engineering environment is unique in this with this product. So it really is something that people enjoy using and can use across the entire facility. Now, how easy is it to set up OEE with Movicon? Yeah, OEE is super easy, and I'm gonna show you the wizard. Let me first show you a little bit about the product, but then we'll go back and look at how you configure it. Wonderful. Okay, fantastic. Great. So here I have an example of a ceramic line. Uh, this product was actually developed in Italy. The team is there. It's one of the centers for ceramics in the world. We have many ceramic facilities that are using that product. So the ceramics process goes through a series of presses, a dryer, an inkjet, an oven, that's the first line, and then all the way into a shrink wrap packaging and shipping line. Mm -hmm. So there's two lines that are associated with it in this view. So when I zoom in, I can take a look at an individual line and actually see what's happening on that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what are some statistics with the press? How fast is the inkjet moving? What's the oven temperature? And I can do the same thing on the packaging side. So I can get a very close look at the details associated with the second line. And so we like to be able to use the standard Movicon features for this type of capability, understand what's happening in the process itself. Wow. Now, that's not OEE. That's just standard capabilities right. out of the box. <laughs> when I get into OEE, I use a product called ProLean, which is an option that's on top of Movicon. And what ProLean does is it calculates overall equipment effectiveness. This is a very standard uh, statistic used by many companies to improve the efficiency of their plant. Mm -hmm. So you can see here my OEE is 87, and that's across the entire plant. I can zoom into a given line or for a department. My availability is a measure of downtime. So how much am I down during planned production? My performance is a measure of theoretical output versus actual output. And obviously I would like to get to my theoretical output of the equipment, Absolutely. right? And then quality is a measure of scrap. So how much of the good product and how much bad product am I producing? If I'm running at full speed, but scrapping a lot of material, that's really not a good mm, thing, right, right? right? All of that is summarized into this overall equipment effectiveness metric. Okay? Thank you. And just an example, move into a, a single line here, and you can see how it changes the entire view just for that area of the facility. Wow. Now, is there any reporting functionality? Yeah, great question. There is built-in reporting. It's out of the box. You just run the OEE wizard and the reports will be available. Let me just show you real quick. Yeah, great, let's look. Right. So I'm gonna go into the report function right here. Mm -hmm. And you can see a whole series of reports that are available just out of the box. I'm gonna take the lot report. Sometimes that's kind of interesting. I'm gonna open up the report. It's gonna ask me to choose which line or which machine to use. So I'm gonna take line number one and I'm just gonna hit the submit button. This quickly, the report shows up. So what is my OEE? What's the downtime availability associated with it? What's my performance? So what's the quality? All this information comes out of the box in a standard report. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people like to compare one machine to another. So uh, another type of report that's you know, kind of handy is this shift comparison report. And what I would do is I would select this and then I would select which assets I would like to compare. And that would be done just right here I'm just gonna select all. Let's, let's take a look at a comparison of all of the reports. Mm -hmm. Hit the submit like I did before, and then look at this report, super nice. Mm -hmm. I've got line one, I've got line two, I've got line one and line two, a couple of different metrics. For some reason, line one is doing better than line two. Here I'm at 90%, here I'm at closer to 80%. 
What's the difference between those two? So you'd want to go and investigate that and improve your overall efficiency. So that's the reporting built in, out of the box, easy to use. Now, I did hear you mention the OEE wizard. Can we take a look at the wizards? Yeah, let's take a look because yeah. that's how people would typically configure the system and it's super easy. I mean, there's 10 steps to go through, you answer some questions. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Okay, and this is our main engineering tool. We call it the editor. And in there, this is where you open up existing projects or create a new project. And for OEE, see this Pro Lean Wizard? Mm -hmm. I just click on that button. It brings me into the environment. I'll select the project that I'm running through the wizard. So now I've got that. That's step one of 10. Mm. 10 steps and I've got OEE out of the box. It's wow. unbelievable. Yeah. So here, I hit the next button. What's the database? Simple question, you know, where is the data going to be stored? Right. Where am I going to put my configuration data? Next question is, what are my units of measure? Am I making pieces? Am I making boxes? You know, what, it, what are the things that yeah. are being created yeah. in this environment? Third set of questions is, well, what's my lines? What's my plant? What's my departments? So that I can navigate through the hierarchy of OEE and machines and get summary type reports. Mm -hmm. So this is really handy if you've got a lot of assets that you're trying to understand. The next set of questions is, you know, around what am I producing and what are the recipes that are associated with that? Because that tells the equipment what's coming next and what, how it should set up its parameters. Then I'm gonna move to a set of questions around uh, tying the recipes to the equipment so that each piece of equipment knows which product it's involved in. Then I go to creating my downtime reasons. That's mm -hmm. something that's really important. When downtime occurs, why did it occur? Sure. Then I can produce a top 10 report of reasons for downtime and our process engineers can go and address those one at a time, improve the overall equi equipment effectiveness. Okay. Then I'm gonna to move to the next step, which is creating my shifts. It's all about downtime during planned production mm -hmm. time. So what is planned production time? That's configured right here. Then I go to a screen that just 11 tags. Mm -hmm. This is the information from the equipment that tells us when a part was produced, how many parts were produced, is it scrapped, just all of the information, when an alarm occurs that causes downtime, that's just set up right here in this particular area of the wizard. And then finally, I've uh, really just got it set up. I hit the finish button and boom, everything I showed you occurs after I've run through that process. Just like that. Just like that, <laughs> that's really amazing. Now, can we see any map capability? Sure, yeah, there's a map capability as well and uh, I can show you that. Wonderful. And this is an application that's highly distributed in nature, meaning mm -hmm. that there's a series of assets that are doing renewable energy that are located throughout. And this is a summary page that takes a look at you know, the, the output of the various solar energy and hydroelectric power plants, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So I can go to a map and actually see all of this in view, in context. Some interesting things about the mapping capability is, as I zoom in, I can get a progressive level of detail. See how it exposes more information as you bring in? And uh, there's also an ability to have mobile assets, and you can see them moving throughout the facility. If I want to get the details of one of the areas, I would just click on it, and it brings up the, this is a hydroelectric view. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting about this is this is a template that can be reused across all similar assets. So you build it once, but you can use it hundreds of times in the same facility. And you can see I'm getting the water levels, I'm getting the flow, I'm getting the voltage, the current. All of the key statistics are coming just by clicking in from where the map was located. I can even zoom in further into the map and it would show you at a highlight one of the top parameters. Mm -hmm. So this is something that makes it very convenient to use the mapping software. Where are my assets? What are they? And what information? Here I can go into one of the um, substations okay. and take a look there. And I can see the power, the voltage, the current, the frequency across the whole thing. So this mapping software is also um, naturally integrated with Movicon and it's one of the unique features of the product. I want to show you just uh, one more area on the home screen because I can zoom in and have kind of an electrical view, which is a standard set of symbols that can be brought into play. I can take a look at um, some statistics here associated with the plant itself, zooming into that. And you can see how you know the charts will start to form and I'll start to get the real-time data mm -hmm. associated with it. Okay. Now, can we see the 3D capability? Oh, you want 3D as Please? well? Yeah. yeah, we can do 3D, <laughs> absolutely. Well, this is a view of a 3D object. It was actually built using a CAD tool and it's part of the standard capabilities that they used when they built the facility itself. 
we simplified it a little bit and imported it into Movicon, another unique capability of the Movicon features, the products. And so you can see that we're actually animating parts of the factory as alarms happen and as there's a fault that maybe somebody should investigate. But it's, you can see it rotating. So we've actually put some logic in there that says rotate based on an alarm that occurs so somebody can easily understand what happened and where. If I want to get the details, I can click into that object itself and then pop up another screen that's going to tell me, you know, this is a steam area, it's active, what's the temperature and the pressure associated with it. So I can very quickly, as an operator, understand where the fault occurred in the plant, what it means, and then get the associated details. Likewise, I think I saw one of the tanks went into alarm, you know, and if I wanted to know why that happened, I would click on the tank itself and it would bring up a screen, again, a pop-up, it's templatized so it can be reused and it will show me actually, you know, what's the current state of that particular piece of equipment. Now, sometimes people want to rotate it without it doing that automatically. I can actually use my mouse and drag the 3D object around and take different views of it. Imagine how handy this is if you've got a 3D uh, view of a machine and there's a fault deep in the machine mm -hmm. and you want to actually look into it and say well Oh, that's the motor that had the problem. Mm -hmm. So this 3d capability Not only is it a good representation for people to understand where in the plant there's a problem But it's also a very handy troubleshooting tool wonderful down at the next level. Okay Well, let's wrap up with a look at building automations applications. Sure another set of applications that uh, is quite capable We've been through factories. We've mm -hmm. been through OEE. We've been through 3d maps now we'll take a look at building automation. Wonderful. Okay, so what I've now brought up is a screen that shows, you know, kind of a wide geographic area. Maybe there's a central control room in the city. They've got a series of different buildings that are being monitored, mm -hmm. and you'd like to be able to look at that. So this is an example of a smart city. We've done some nice things with it. You may or, not, not, may or may not see it right here, but um, actually will change from night to day, mm. depending on uh, what time it is. You've got a factory, there's a hotel, there's a museum, there's some apartments, there's a stadium. So all of things are built in to the application so somebody can see, well, how, how's my smart city doing, actually? So just for example, if I went into the museum, it's gonna load, you know, just a quick overview, make sure I got the right um, screen here, but maybe I wanna look at the HVAC equipment. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what's my temperature? Are my fans all running? What about the various parts? Is anything in an alarm state? So all of that can be quickly built through standard symbols that are in the Movicon product. Likewise, there's a fire and watch area. So maybe I want to see, you know, a fire alarm went off. Well, where exactly did that happen? And should I dispatch somebody to take a look at it? Mm -hmm. Or maybe use a camera to see, oh, maybe that's a false alarm. Sure. I may even want to go in and see the lighting that's associated with it. So which lights are on, which lights are off? I can control them actually from here. I could turn certain lights off or I could turn all of them off. Maybe it's you know 10 p.m. time to save and conserve some energy. Mm -hmm. From a sustainability standpoint, these things are quite important. Absolutely. Actually. Yeah. So that's just an example of a, of a museum. Uh, slightly different is with the hotel. I wanted to go into there because in the case of a hotel, there are some actually automation equipment that's involved in that. So for example, you have to heat the water. Right. Maybe that's used for uh, the pool, maybe it's used for the hot water tanks, but mm -hmm. the whole series of purposes. So there's gonna have pumps, it's gonna have pipes, it's gonna have equipment, and you really wanna be able to monitor that in case somebody goes wrong. You get a phone call, hey, I don't have hot water, what's right. happening? Mm -hmm. Well, you can take a quick look here. I've also got the solar energy represented. So if uh, I'm consuming the solar energy versus from the grid, that's also very positive. So I wanna make sure that that's operating at peak efficiency. If I wanted to get some statistics, I can drill in here and look at the lights, the climate, the sauna, all kind of in one uh, unified environment. Mm -hmm. So really some great variety of capabilities that are, that are part yeah. of this system. Now, Rich, you did mention stadiums earlier. Yeah. Do you have a, a stadium you could show us? Sure, Movicon is actually monitoring several stadiums. There's one you know, right in here, and let's drill into that and take a, a closer look. Wonderful. Okay, well, this is a view of a stadium. Mm -hmm. Really nice looking uh, facility being brought in. We've superimposed some information on different parts of the stadium on top of the main screen. So for example, I can drill into the security system and I can you know, take a look around and see where the exits are and you know, is any alarms going off. You can see I've got an alarm that's here. So I can very quickly get a sense of the whole stadium. And there's a lot of people involved. Safety is Absolutely. of utmost importance. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the things that's easily set up. Likewise, I can take a look at the lighting. 
which lights are on in the stadium, which lights are off, what time of day is it? And as I drill into that, I can actually put it into manual mode and change some of these lights myself and turn them on and off. And that's very handy if maybe you know one set of lights is not working and I want to turn a different set off to try to compensate sure, on it. Sure, and, sure. You know, it's really a nice way to, to manage that. But at a glance, I can see exactly what's going on across the entire stadium. Another common area that people like to look at is the irrigation. Irrigation is important in uh, yes. especially a sports stadium mm -hmm. or something like that. It has to happen on a regular basis. Well, we can take a look and see well, what zones are being uh, irrigated right now. You can put that into manual mode as well and change it. And it really is a good overview of, is my systems working correctly? Do I have a problem? And uh, obviously it's very easy to understand which ones are on, which ones are Absolutely. off. Uh, it, it just really right at here. a glance, right? And then finally, this is um, sometimes important. We naturally integrate the CCTV into the Movicon product. So you can see up here, I've got video cameras that show me various parts of the stadium. And if I wanted to change the view, maybe take a look you know, through the center, I can just turn a different camera on. It's represented here. Mm -hmm. And you know, as a security personnel, I can see, well, maybe that part of the stadium needs to calm down a little bit. Sure, or, right. You know, something a is- A little uh, rowdy. A little mm -hmm. rowdy, right, exactly. <laughs> So these kind of capabilities, whether it's a tunnel or a stadium or a um, water tank or something like that, you could detect leaks. This ability to integrate a security camera is just a fantastic capability Absolutely. overall. Wow, well, Rich, thank you so much. Yeah, my now, pleasure. If people would like to learn more, where can they go to see if Movicon Automation is right for them? Yeah, great question. I mean, Emerson.com has all the information that's available. You can search for the Movicon product. You can find uh, on the website a whole area where data sheets and brochures and other capabilities. In fact, there's a free download and you can bring it down to your system. You can try it yourself. Oh, great. Well, Rich, thank you again so much for your time today. Yeah, my pleasure. And make sure you check out more demos that we have available as part of the virtual Emerson Exchange.